How's it going again, everybody? So today I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. And instead of talking about comics I collect because of things I loved as a kid, shifting over to things I love because of movies as an adult. And one of which is everything James Gunn is able to do with all the characters he touches, however well known, however obscure, you end up loving that character. Guardians of the Galaxy, I had no idea who they were before that movie came out. It is one of my favorite series of movies in the Marvel Universe now that it has wrapped up, has completed. For me, it's the only thing that actually kept a solid consistency of the characters that we liked in the movies we were used to up past Endgame. Going over to DC Universe, I felt the same way about The Suicide Squad. Was not a fan of the first one that came out. James Gunn's Suicide Squad, though, pretty damn good. One standout character in particular from that movie was Peacemaker. And Peacemaker was another character that I had no idea was a character until that movie came out. James Gunn crushed it. John Cena crushed it. And because of that movie, I started looking up what was his first appearance in comics because I wanted to add it to the collection. It was a little tough to find because it turns out he wasn't a Marvel character, wasn't really a DC character at the time. He was actually over at Charlton Comics, which I hadn't even heard about from the 1960s. So it also wasn't cheap because anything in the 60s at that point, less obscure. As soon as that movie came out, the news came out, people turned out, they loved the movie. It just shot right up. So that one always got put on the back burner as a, I want to add it to the collection, but I'm not in a rush to get it. And it was like that for a while. But spawning off of Peacemaker, he got his own show. And the show made me love him even more. And if you've seen the show, one of the other standout characters is definitely Vigilante. Both of those characters... So excited for season two. I love everything they did. Can't wait to see more. And just like Peacemaker, I started looking at Vigilante's first appearance. His, it turns out, was much more attainable. And I, in fact, I'm gonna go right here with Teen Titans Annual number two, the first appearance of Vigilante, right there on the cover. Beautiful, which you always want that with a first appearance. It's always cool to have the book. It's a little bonus when they're right there on the cover, and it's a decent cover. I do not feel that way about Peacemaker's first appearance, that we'll talk about in a little bit. But this cover is amazing. This character cracked me up so much throughout the show, and I cannot wait to see what they do with him in Season 2. A little bit of Deadpool vibes, but I also love Deadpool, so that works out. The next comic I want to show off is... Vigilante 36. This is actually the first meeting between Vigilante and Peacemaker. Both there on the cover, getting shot, blasted out of a plane. And given the bromance, even if they didn't want to admit it was a bromance that we had in the show, this was another book that when I saw it, actually in the Vermont Antique Mall over in Queechy, this was $1.00 which at the time for this, it was selling at 50. So steel, I never really get those stories where I'm out in the flea markets, yard sales, antique shops, and I find like that one comic for cheap that it turns out is worth a lot more. This is the closest I've gotten to that. A dollar for a $50 comic, I will take that any day. And it's in pretty good shape. First meeting between the two, really happy to have that. Now, in order to complete the trifecta, it just wouldn't be the same without Charlton Comics, the Fightin' Five, number 40, and a 7.5 off-white to white pages. This is the origin and first appearance of Peacemaker, Christopher Smith. And again, a publishing company, a comic title, and a character I knew nothing about until the movie came out and then the show came out. So this is a little bit, if you saw my other video with the first Silver Age appearance of Solomon Grundy, where I really love what James Gunn did with the character, and I really wish I had this book before the movie came out, the show came out, ended up being a hit, and everybody loved it. 
So I wasn't spending way more money than I had to to track down the book for the character's first appearance now that I love them. So that's why I'm trying to stay ahead with a lot of the DC keys before James Gunn really starts rolling the movies out. That way, any character I think he might actually use in a movie that might take off, I have it in my collection before it gets crazy, before it gets pricey. Not because I'm looking to speculate that it's going to blow up and I'm going to turn around and flip it. I just want to have it in my own collection without spending way more than I have to if I can get it ahead of the curve. So today was just a nice short video showing off the trifecta of Suicide Squad, Peacemaker, first appearance of Christopher Smith, Peacemaker, first appearance of Vigilante, and of course the infamous meeting between the two. And another case of, it wasn't my love for comics as a kid that made me track these down, it was my love of movies and shows as an adult that made me track them down, and James Gunn's ability for you to really, really like and resonate with a character, no matter how good or bad that character may be. So, thank you guys again for tuning in for a nice quick video today. I'll catch you next time.